thousands of protesters have marched through Sydney rallying against COVID vaccine mandates. It was one of several demonstrations across the country with police out in force ready to act but hoping those involved stayed within the law. The rain didn't deter them as thousands again marched through the streets of Sydney CBD with one key message. No to the vaccine. The whole thing's a scam as far as I'm concerned. Crowds spilled into Hyde Park, filling most of it this afternoon, with signs as colourful as their points of view. We are here to show that not everybody agrees with what the government has decided for us. Everywhere you go, it's in your face. You can't get away from it. Federal MP Craig Kelly was among them. We've got people from all backgrounds. We've got all age groups. We've got young kids, we've got old people. We have, this is Australia. This is the grassroots Australia. It was tense at times as police held the line, moving some protesters on. As you can see, protests like this are becoming more and more commonplace, not just here in Sydney, but across the country. Police too, though, they're prepared, not taking any chances. Including on the Gold Coast, where One Nation leader Pauline Hanson made an appearance. We want our freedom. We want our choice. It is our choice. What we put into our bodies. While in Melbourne, protesters directed their anger at Premier Daniel Andrews. I just believe we should be able to live with freedom the way we always have. And while in Sydney there were no arrests, expect more demonstrations like these in the weeks to come. The turnout today is a true reflection of what people are thinking. Matthew Carstunen, 7 News. See if people, when you look at the aerial pictures, they started down Burke Street, they made a bit of a U-turn back down Flinders Street and they've ended this afternoon here at Treasury Gardens. They're protesting a lot of things. The pandemic bill, the controversial pandemic bill the state government's trying to get through Parliament. They're also protesting mandatory vaccines, vaccines in general and... You guessed it, the Premier, Dan Andrews. I'm here for freedom, right? We all deserve freedom. The government works for us. Why are they doing what they're doing? And how can they justify it? It just should be a human choice to be able to say that we don't want to be vaccinated with a, something that's got a 99.7% recovery rate. It just should be a choice. As you can imagine, with a group this size, it's a range of people taking part. You can see that with the flags alone, Australian flags, Polish flags, Greek flags and US flags, to just name a few, almost matching the array of signs, many emblazoned with Sack Dan Andrews and My Body, My Choice, and it must also be said, many attacking the media. We've seen a man punching a doll of Dan Andrews, while others are simply families, and that includes children. I'm just fighting for the freedoms of my kids. I want to come out, enjoy the day, and enjoy the protests. There's people that are probably vaccinated, unvaccinated, Business owners, non-business owners, fathers, mothers, kids, grandparents. This is people who just want their lives back. And you can bet your bottom dollar there'll be another disagreement on the size of the turnout. People here say it's in the hundreds of thousands. Authorities will estimate much fewer, but the pictures tell the story. Meanwhile, Pauline Hanson has joined protesters on the Gold Coast as anti-vaccine mandate demonstrations were held right across the country. It comes after the One Nation Party leader earlier this week attempted to introduce a bill to federal parliament limiting the ability of states to introduce mandates. Her One Nation colleague Malcolm Roberts also attended. Victorians against mandatory coronavirus vaccinations have marched through the city as part of the nationwide protest. Julia Bradley is at Treasury Gardens. Julia, what's the atmosphere like there? Well, Danica, it's been a very strong atmosphere all day today. The protest here, which is part of the nationwide Millions March protest, it kicked off at midday. It began at Victoria's Parliament House, but things have now moved over to Treasury Gardens. As you can see behind me, still many people here gathering. We believe there are about hundreds of thousands of people in attendance, really. Quite a large crowd has turned out today. People waving flags, Australian flags, all kinds of of, uh, other flag speeches going on there in the backgrounds on that stage. We've heard a lot of people chanting, a lot of people yelling things out throughout the course of the day. Uh, things uh, like no vaccine mandates, no segregation, 
Uh, that has really been the sentiment of today's protest, that people don't want these COVID vaccines to be mandated and they also don't want vaccination passports. We've spoken to a number of people as well, as Gab has said as well, that are actually vaccinated but don't believe that it should be a requirement for work. We've spoken to teachers, people from all kinds of different professions. Here's what some of them had to tell us. And why have you turned out today? Uh, basically fighting for future for my kids, uh, job mandates for, for experimental vaccines, my body, my choice. To take a stand with all these other beautiful people who feel the same way and um, to stand up for our freedoms, our democratic state. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm here. So if we end the mandates, we remove a lot of the fuel that's uh, fueling this discontent. And as you can see, there's a lot of Victorians out here. Now, there is another element to today's protest here in Victoria. A lot of people who have turned out today are against the government's new pandemic bill, which has been proposed in Parliament. It's being debated at the moment and a final vote is expected next week. Now, this is a bill that would give Premier Daniel Andrews unprecedented power to declare a future pandemic and then enforce rules. We've come across a number of crossbench MPs who have been attending today's protest. We've seen uh, independent MP Dr to Catherine Cumming and we asked her how she feels about this pandemic bill. Uh, the importance of actual today is so that the, it's a show of people power and strength. So the community wants to, everyone to know that they're here for a peaceful protest. They're actually wanting to stop all the mandates and everyone here is pro-choice. We've seen another uh, crossbench MP, a Liberal Democrat, David Limbrick, who has told us that he is not going to support that bill regardless of any amendments that might come at a later stage. And this is all ahead of those emergency powers, the ones that are currently in place, expiring on the 15th of December. A lot of people who we've spoken to today have said that they are going to continue to come out and protest against the idea of mandatory COVID vaccinations and vaccine passports, and they're really hoping that they're going to be listened to. Julia Bradley, live for us in Melbourne. Thank you for that update.